Hello world, in today's video I'm going to be painting my inhaler. So if you want to find out what happens to this basic thing, just keep on <laughs> watching the video. <laughs> some white which the top is not this I don't know why but we're gonna need white because I need to paint that as a base color that way the other colors stand out more but yeah I'm just gonna get my paints ready and I will show you guys what color I have after I get all my paints out <laughs> alrighty I have all my paints set out right here which I'm just gonna show you guys I have black I have orange, I have blue, I have pink, and I have this lighter pink, which it's a different color than the other pink, I just really like that pink. I have blue, I have, well, white of course, <laughs> and I have some glitter because I need some of this. And I actually need to get my Mod Podge out of here, so um, yeah, let's just go ahead and start decorating, painting, whatever you want to call it, on this inhaler. <laughs> so I got all my paints laid out right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in this paint palette, which is fine that it's not going to out right now. The paint actually dried, so it should be all good. So I'm just going to put the paint, I'm going to start with the orange paint, I'm going to put that right here actually because if it would come out that'd be great, okay, we don't need that much, <laughs> um, I'm going to put the pink, And I will be back once all of this paint is in here because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me put the paint in here. <laughs> paint in here I'm just gonna go ahead and take my actual piece out that way I can just have a little shell I guess you could say and that way I can just put that on my finger and paint that way it's a lot easier and it would be a lot better that way so I have my paint brushes which I don't need a huge paint brush for this since that's small um, but I'm just going to use this one, which should work perfectly fine. And I have all my paints right here, which I didn't put the black in there yet because sometimes when I do put the black in there, it mixes with the other ones and turns them all dark. But I'm going to put the black in there when I do need it. That way it doesn't dry out because the black tends to dry out faster. So I'm just going to go ahead and start and yeah. So, I'm just going to put you guys at this angle, that way you can just see, kind of see everything that I'm going to do. And do not mind my nails, I don't even know what's up with those. And I got some water, that way I can dip my paintbrush in. That way it doesn't get dried out. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to put a 
base coat of white down. And I know this is gonna be hard for it to stick to, so I might have to scratch a layer off, but um, it might be fine. So I'm not gonna put it on my mouthpiece, of course, because if I put that on my mouth, then I will be tasting paint. So I'm not gonna be too tedious about this first layer of paint, mainly because you're not gonna be seeing it that much. Because I'm gonna paint something over this, of course. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> so I will be back once all of this is painted white. So I actually went ahead and changed the angle because I did not like the way it was looking at that specific angle. So yeah. Um, the paint is almost dry. The white is almost dry, I should say. Um, right now I'm just painting the, um, second layer on this side because, well, you can still see the gray somewhat on it, so, yeah. But this side is the side that isn't dry. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I am just going to... Sorry, my hair is going to get in the paint, and that always happens. And then I have paint in my hair, and it is not a good look. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to take the pink first, and I am going to put the pink all around it right here, because that side is dry. And I am noticing that, okay, so this was the total fail, but what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to erase all this white, because this is what I'm going to do. I am going to, because sometimes I have to do this, like on plastic, when I paint on plastic, I'm going to put Mod Podge down, because this is what I do when I paint, like a phone case. I'm going to put the Mod Podge on it, that way. It has something to stick to and it's just not sliding off the plastic so I could either scratch this with a, a sander and nail file or I can just get my bag over here which is heavy um, and I know my montage is in here somewhere Aha. this is a matte montage so I don't think it really matters but we're just going to use that because I don't feel like finding the glossy. So what I'm going to do, just going to, wow, this is hard to open, okay. I don't know what the heck that <laughs> came off the more punch. Let's just throw that there. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pour some more budget in there, not a lot. Um, I'm going to put this back down. It's pink now because <laughs> I wiped the pink off. Um, Mod Podge actually doesn't take a while to dry at all. It dries pretty quickly. So what I do is I just put one thin layer and that usually will stick to the plastic because when using acrylic paint, which I am using acrylic paint obviously, um, well, it wouldn't have nothing to stick to and it'll just keep peeling off so that would not be a good thing because I'm going to go ahead and put this back on there that way I don't get any um paint on my mouthpiece but if I do I can just wipe it off obviously um what I'm doing just got it on my finger um and I am painting the Mod Podge all over the inhaler so that way the paint has something to stick to so if you didn't know I do like to paint which I 
haven't been able to paint a lot here recently because it usually makes my lungs inflamed and my lung doesn't like me to paint um, when it does that, so yeah. <laughs> but we are going to paint today for the purpose of this video. So, now that the Mod Podge is on there, I'm just going to let this dry, which it's already drying, if you can't see. It's kind of got little streaks on it, because there was still a little bit of white paint on it. But it is already dry on this side, actually. So, I'm just going to let this dry, and I will come back to you guys when it is already dry. So, this will take literally a second. So, now that the Mod Podge is dry, I am just going to paint a white base now, because... It needed something to stick on and now the white is actually painting on really good you can see it's painting on really good now so that is a good thing and that is because the mud podge helps it stick so I'm just painting this And I will be back after this white is painted on. <laughs> Cue the music and that's what is working.
on the <laughs> paint palette and I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush but I'm gonna wipe it off that way it doesn't smear any different color of paint. We're gonna wipe that off and I have my glitter. You see that? Sorry, I was trying to get a thumbnail. Okay, so we're going to paint this on. Ooh, it looks way prettier with the glitter. Yes, yes it does. So, if you can't tell, I like glitter. <laughs> Which, I'm sure you can tell because my wall has glitter all over it. Which is in the background. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to paint the glitter all over the primer and it looks nice right now but I'm actually going to close the top of it off that way I can hold it easier than what I was before so I'm just adding the glitter and this actually looks pretty now that I added some glitter or something new to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. My butterflies don't look that good right now, but, you know, I'll touch them up later on. Which, I didn't, I couldn't find my small detail paintbrush, which kind of aggravates me because it's not in here and... It should be. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to buy some more. <laughs> um, but yeah, once this glitter is dry, which shouldn't take that long, I'll be back to put the final coat of Mod Podge and we will be and we can see the final touches. So now that the glitter is dry, I still have some Mod Podge left in here. It didn't all dry up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use what little bit I have left and Put a coat right there, but I'm gonna have to get some more, obviously. Put some in here. Let me see here. So I'm not gonna put that much more in there. I'm just close it up. And now we're just gonna put a thin layer of Mod Podge to top it all off and seal it in. That way it doesn't peel off or anything else which shouldn't be a problem now that we have the Mod Podge all over the paint. 
so I sealed it in and it kind of looks like white now but that's just because I was so dry so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this random video of me painting my inhaler I wanted to do something different other than talking about my whole medical history um but just stay tuned for my next video make sure you subscribe like and share with everyone you know and i will see you guys in another video i hope you guys enjoyed and good bye